Hi everyone, welcome to my weekend. I hope you're all having a fantastic one. Now, I've got up really early, I've done plenty of work already on Saturday, and now I am going to take my daughter to work and then my mum shopping. But before I do that, I want to give you an update on this, the Epson Pulse Sense. So here we go. This is what the actual Epson Pulse Sense PS500 actually looks like. I showed you it the other day, but obviously it wasn't all set up. And now it is, and you can see it's currently measuring my pulse, which is at 83, the actual time, 8.34 a.m., and then today's date. Now, you can cycle through various things on the watch with this button here. So if I tap on that, it will show you nothing. And then tap again, it shows you my actual zone. And then tap again, calories. Tap again, the amount of steps. And it obviously says zero because I've just sort of started using it and then miles as well. Now, the reason it says no steps is because last night I actually took it off of my wrist. I've only just put it back on. And the reason I did that is because I wasn't quite happy with it last night and I'll show you why in a short while. So overall, it feels very, very comfortable. Really nice, comfortable strap. That is a really positive point. So let me take this off and I'll show you why I wasn't quite happy with it last night. Now, as you take it off, you can see this bright green light and that is the light that is measuring my pulse so I can actually turn that off if I tap this top one and then tap stop and that turns that little green light off now the reason I took it off last night is you're meant to actually wear this to monitor your sleep activity as well but one I found it sort of too big and bulky to wear at night time and two it was getting very warm in this spot here on my wrist where this light was continually shining and measuring my pulse. So I wasn't quite happy with the sort of warmth that it was generating on my wrist. But anyway, that said, let's have a little look. Let's just pop the watch over there. I have a little look at the app, which is the Pulse Sense app. And for the most part, it works really well. The user interface isn't quite as nice as some of the apps I've used for fitness trackers. Now it's not gonna show me my uh, pulse or heart rate at the moment because I'm not wearing the watch, so we'll get rid of that. And then this shows you the amount of exercise. Now we've got exercise, calories, sleep, mind. So this is sort of state of mind, whether I've been in an elevated state or a relaxed state and then back round to steps, which is obviously showing nothing for today. Well, I'll change the days in a minute. And then we've also got some settings here for account settings and device settings. And this is all pretty good. You know, you've got some good things that you can change in here, uh, as well as various targets. If we go into targets, it actually communicates with the watch before you can change anything. A little bit frustrating, but you've got sort of weight, body fat percentage, a uh, target period, set steps per day, distance per day, etc. Everything that you can change for setting your targets. And then we can go back around to the profile. Now, how do I get to the previous day? Da, 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 da. That's an event marker. I'm still getting used to this. So I want to go to, here we go. So we can go to yesterday by tapping here. So this is yesterday. And then we've got a little graph here showing my steps. And then if we tap on the circle, it brings it back up to full size. But that's really weird. I want to see th these graphs in big. And you can't. Oh, here we go. So it, it would actually update them, but you can't zoom back into them. So we can go across to exercise for yesterday, four minutes. That's not very good. Calories. Now it says minus 1965 because I wasn't inputting any of my food. You can actually write the sort of food that you have uh, consumed throughout the day and sleep. Obviously it didn't track any because I took the watch off. And then it tells me I was relaxed for 34 minutes and elevated for zero minutes, which is really strange because I went out for a couple of long walks yesterday. So overall the interface is okay. I'd like to be able to tap back into these large views and be able to change the date up here still, but it seems that you can only change the date when you're in this view. So, you know, it's just a personal preference. But overall, the application is okay. As I say, not the best I've seen, but it gives all the information you need and it's pretty well laid out. 
So I've just got back from taking my mum shopping. It took a little bit longer than I anticipated, but I came back to some deliveries. I'm gonna show you what the postman delivered. Very, very cool. I've got this, Destiny, for the Xbox One. A big, big thank you to both Bungie and Activision for sending this out to me. Really, really excited to have a look at that. Graphics from what I've seen look absolutely fantastic. And then Mobile Fun, my friends over there, sent me these screen protectors, MFX screen protectors for the iPhone 6. Very, very cool that they've got these in stock already. So well worth checking out. Once my iPhone 6 actually is delivered, then I will let you know how I think these perform. And then also for the iPhone 6 and also from Mobile Fun is this. Just show you the back of the packaging. It's from Spigen. It's the Thin Fit A for the iPhone 6 in champagne gold. Really very, very nice. A very simple case uh, with the window here. It's actually got plastic on the window so the logo shows through, but in a really nice gold color, looking very, very cool. Absolutely, I love Spigen cases, I really do. So again, when my iPhone 6 is delivered to the Geek & Noise Studio, I'll show you this in action and show you how it fits. Charging, it's amazing how many things you have to charge nowadays. I've realized that probably over the last maybe six months to a year, that with all of this other wearable technology coming out, and in fact, even before that, probably going back a couple of years when I got my Fitbit Flex, you know, my fitness tracker, the amount of gadgets is increasing every year that we have to actually make sure we got them charged up. The one I just showed you was the Martian Notifier, the smartwatch, and um, yet yeah, another gadget that I love using, but I have to make sure it's charged. Admittedly, the battery life on that particular one is very good indeed. So we just had a really nice evening meal, and in fact, it was a really good surprise as well because I was gonna go out to buy something for dinner. I was gonna get a lasagna, and um, just as I was about to leave, my wife rang and said, do you want a lasagna for dinner? I've finished work and I'm on my way home. So I went, yeah, yes please, that'd be cool. So I didn't have to go and actually get it. So we had lasagna and also, uh, because it was a small lasagna, we uh, sort of shared that out, but we had crispy duck as well. Really nice, one of my favorite meals. Good morning, everyone, it is now Sunday and it started off quite busy because I had some parcels to pack or products to send back. And then I also just wanted to share with you this little device here. And basically it's called a Home Medics No Pain 3D. Now my wife's been suffering from a really bad back and I've had this probably for about a year and a half, something like that, unused. And um, I said, hey, try this, you know, instead of putting sort of heat pads on. And it works really very well. It's just a tiny little sort of pad with gel bits on the back. And what you basically do is you peel this bit off here and then you stick this on the appropriate area and it actually sort of triggers little sort of electrical pulses and uh, is a, just a tiny little TENS machine. And she said that it's working very well. So nice little tip for you there. If, if you find something like this uh, could possibly help you, then this is well worth picking up because it's nice and discreet, can be worn under clothing and uh, seems to work very well. Okay, I have just finished eating lunch and some fantastic news via Twitter is that baby Perillo is finally here. So a big, big congratulations to both Chris Perillo and Diana Perillo and of course the rest of the family. Now I know Chris, you'll be inundated with well wishes. Uh, just to give my viewers a little bit of background, myself and Chris have never actually met but we have been communicating for many years and uh, Chris is a really nice guy and just just the very best of wishes. I, I don't know what else to say other than the adventure for you both and the rest of the family begins now. Sunday is almost done. It's just after 11 o'clock on Sunday night and today was a good day. Really nice roast dinner today which if you're not in the UK that's a little bit of a tradition. We had some sort of boiled bacon, roast potatoes, Yorkshire puddings, vegetables and gravy oh and stuffing as well and it was really nice meal not sure if every country has that sort of tradition i know every country has their own traditions so let me know what sort of meal traditions you have if you're not in the uk i'd be really interested to know i've also just finished watching con air a really awesome movie with nicholas cajun of course 
and I haven't watched it for absolutely ages and I really had forgotten how good it actually is. So thoroughly enjoyed that. Now obviously a busy week next week for me and a very exciting week as well because it is the week that hopefully, at the latter part of the week on Friday, a lot of people, hopefully including me of course, is getting their iPhone 6s or iPhone 6 Plus. And uh, if they do turn up on time, then I'm going to be very busy over the weekend to bring in my initial coverage of both of those versions of the new iPhone. So anyway, I hope you've all had a fantastic weekend. I will see you all again in tomorrow's video.